What if, if I could tell you about a sensor that can be used to detect any object from the distance of 50 meter. So today we'll talk about laser sensor. Imagine you have seen the laser sensor in many movies where one has to dodge the lasers in order to pass the security and rob a bank. Laser sensor does the same thing. What I have today is an industrial laser sensor and it is usually used for sensing very small objects that can vary from 0.5 mm to 1 mm. Some of the project ideas that I can give to you using laser sensor are laser security alarm, counting of object using laser sensor and use of laser sensor for the detection of vibration in a body. You can easily make your own laser sensor. You only need one laser transmitter and one laser receiver. On the receiver side, you can use one simple LDR. So now we will see an industrial problem in the laser sensor. So here is my power supply which is giving the power supply to my laser transmitter and my laser receiver which works on 5V DC and in the output I have connected a simple buzzer. So when I obstruct this laser, I get the output and the buzzer goes on. We can see that the buzzer is going on. So now I will tell you a practical industrial problem that this sensor is faced is. Suppose I have obstructed this and I have an external light source, I am using this phone and I direct this light source on the receiver. We can see that the receiver of the sensor is already sensing, it is sensing the external light source. It is independent of the target that is moving in front of this and it is sensing the external light source. This is an industrial problem and I will be showing you an industrial sensor and I will be also explaining you how they have solved this problem using their laser sensor. So here is my industrial sensor and here is my power supply which is giving 24 volt DC to my both of these sensor. One is the transmitter of the laser. Here you can see the transmitter of the laser and here is the receiver of the laser. So when I point it towards the receiver, I get the output. I am using this target and when I obstruct it, you can see here the output. At the back LED indication also you can see the output. So now when I will use an external light, you can see here is the external light. And when I point, you can see the output is turned on when the red light is not falling on it. So the output won't change when I use external light on it. It would only change when the red laser light would fall on it. I'll direct it. So the output would only get turned off when red laser light falls on it. So you can see that it won't change when I will use any external light, which makes it independent of external light. So now let's see the what is the concept behind it. So to solve this, we need to modulate our transmitter and receiver. So when the light from the transmitter is modulated at a certain frequency, it pulses PWM signals and when it gets reflected back to the receiver. The receiver is also tuned in the same frequency that this signal is modulated. So now receiver won't receive or won't give any signal to the stray lights. It would only detect to the modulated signal that is given through the transmitter. So this is how the modulation takes place and it is used in every industrial sensor whether it is IR infrared sensor or whether it is laser sensor and you can see the importance of this that our sensor gets protected from the stray lights or does not get malfun or does not get malfunction due to the stray out source light. So that's all for the video today and Sparrow will see you in the next video.